happening dafties and we're back with a brand new video and today i'm bringing you july sneaker releases so this will hopefully update you guys give you a bit of time to figure out what you want to get this month and if you want to get anything this month if you can save or do whatever to get the money for these drops there is a couple bangers this month and there's one that everybody is looking forward to or two i guess everybody's looking forward to so let's jump into it but before we do that, I'm only updating you at the start of the month. But if you want constant updates, if you go follow at KeithAdam10 on Twitter, I think that's his at. Again, I'll put it in the description below and it'll be up on screen somewhere as well. As he's going to keep you updated and he always does keep you updated throughout the month of like changes that are happening to release dates. So firstly, before we start, I'll tell you the release date, the name of the shoes, the price and resale predictions, usually in that order. So be sure to listen out to what I say about the resale as that's probably the thing you want to be most interested in at this point if you're going for that kind of secondary market way. Let's jump into it. On the 7th of July with the release that was pushed back it's the Jordan 5 Alternative Grapes. These will be retailing for 185 and again usually with Jordan like retros and stuff like they usually do okay so you probably will get some pocket money on resale for these so definitely don't sleep if you're going for personals as they probably will sell out so you're better just to go for it instead of risking it. Next on the 8th of July we have the absolute heaters of the month. You just see all that money raining down. It's the Jordan 1 times Dior. Jordan 1 lows and highs, they are both releasing for £1,800. Yes, these are dear, but 100% you will be able to get your money back instantly after they come out. Even if you want to wait longer, you'll probably get more money out of them. So if you want to go for them and you have the funds, even if you don't, even if you want to try and get the funds and then you can pay somebody back, it's a risk, usually, but with these shoes, it's definitely not going to be. These are going to do absolutely insane. They've been so hyped up. So yeah, definitely do not sleep if you're going for personals because these will fly off and do insane on secondary markets. So don't tell you, I didn't warn you because I did. Next on the 9th of July, it's the Jordan 11 Low Black Cements. These will be retailing for £179. Usually with these, they don't do very well, but due to the colourway that it is, these will probably pop off as well. So again, you'll probably get some profit on them. Not a lot but probably like some pocket money. If you're going for personals, again, don't sleep as these probably will at least sell out and then have a wee bit more resale above retail price. So July 11th, we have two supposedly. One I don't think is actually going to happen till later on, but they are the Jordan 1 Bloodline 2.0s. They are going to be retailing for 135, but I don't think they're going to be released on the 11th. So again, Keith Adams probably somebody to go check up on this and see if it changes. They'll do the exact same as normal Jordan 1s. These, these will do all right, most sizes. You'll definitely be able to get your money back. But I don't know when they're properly going to be releasing. So again, check Keith Adams on Twitter. He'll probably have an update at some point on them. The next on July 11th though, is another pair of Jordan 1s. These are the Light Smokes. These will be retailing for £140 and again they'll be profitable in most sizes and then decent margins for resale as well. So it's definitely a thing like if you're going up for them because you want them for personal, again don't sleep. Good idea to go for them. They're a nice pair of shoes, nice style so definitely don't sleep. Coming up to the last couple ones, on the 18th of July we have the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Zions. These were delayed and pushed back. These will be retailing for £180. The demand for these is very high, so definitely will get profit on them for resale. Again, I've got to keep saying this, but don't sleep again as they will fly off the shelves. Next, on the 25th of July are the Yeezy Boost 380 Blue Oats. These will probably do the exact same as the Mists. So again, do that information as you will. I might be wrong about this. I'm just someone that's kind of researched the prices and stuff. So that's just my opinion. You may have a different opinion. So you do you. If you feel like they're going to do different than to what I've said, then go ahead. You probably will be right. So just do you. Another two on July 25th as well. We have the Jordan 1 Japan Natural Greys. A couple of retailers are starting to get these. So it's not just only Japan only as we thought previous in the past. So you can expect more re retailers to probably pick these up as well. These will be retailing for £140 and they will be very profitable just due to the hype around them. So don't sleep. But last but not least is one of the most tight pairs. It is the Jordan 4 Off Whites. These will be retailing for £170 and you will definitely have no issues reselling these but you'll have a ton of issues trying to get them so again go through every procedure you can to get your hands on these shoes as much as possible because these will do extremely well in secondary markets and I don't blame them because they're absolutely beautiful so that was July sneaker releases again all the resale predictions were coming from my research etc 
if you have a different opinion on it, you follow yours and don't take my word for it all the time. But I hope you guys have an amazing luck this month with drops. I'll be going for a couple, but Night Sneakers hates me, so I'll probably get like none of them. But thank you guys for watching. If you have enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. It means so much to me. I've got the BLM information in the description below, as well as mental health info. Again, I keep that down in the description below all the time. It's just a link that takes you to a bunch of like mobile numbers and emails, etc. So if you are struggling with your mental health, please talk to someone about it. I know it's difficult, I know it's hard, but once you tell somebody, the world, the weight is lifted so much and it does help. Even if it's just like a GP or anything, just speak to someone. You are loved by so many and you would be missed by so many. Thank you guys for watching, I genuinely thank you, honestly. Stay safe, stay home, we're nearly through this, we're nearly done, peace.